Joey and Ted here again. Uh, this is Coffee and Robe um, Theater. Coffee and Robe Classic Game Review Theater, if you will. Uh, and I have another classic game, another hidden gem. Um, this one is really hidden. This is probably going to be one of the most hidden gems that I've ever had on this show. Um, and this game is called Aliens Infestation. Now, don't get this confused with this is a DS card. This came out, I think, I want to say around 2010. Don't get it confused with the game. I, I want to say it was slightly tied in to the game that came on the consoles, like the Xbox 360 and the PS3 back then. But this is a very different experience. And because of that, I think a lot of people missed out on this. Um, unless you were kind of in the know, uh, you wouldn't necessarily have gone after this game. So that's why I wanted to show it today. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm, uh, so it is a DS cart, but as usual, I'm playing on my 3DS. And um, so yeah, this game is really interesting because it's a, you know, it's a 2D side scroller, but um, it's in the same vein of if you've ever played, uh, I want to say it's Aliens 3 on the, it was either on, uh, on Genesis, I think it was also on the Super Nintendo. It's in that kind of in that same vein, kind of uh, you know the the art style is 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 your classic you know DS you know shooter game side you know DS um, kind of graphics so it, it may not necessarily impress graphically but I think it's, this game is really cool because it you know it's kind of old school it's got it's got a, little, a lot of old school mentality to it and you just it's basically you just going through you know fighting aliens I'm fighting some really souped up this is this is kind of a ways into the game this is about 70 percent through the game and I'm fighting some really souped up aliens and um so you can see on the bottom, so most of the action actually happens on the top of the screen. On the bottom screen, I have different guys that I can, uh, well, whenever I get to my home base, I can switch out my guys. And what is really cool, because as you progress through, you know, your, uh, your mothership deal here, you, you'll find different troops to kind of save and rescue, and then they become a part of your squad. And uh, they also will give you things like different weapons and different, you know, power-ups and all. And so, uh, yeah, it's really cool. And, and obviously fighting the aliens is a... The aliens, are, as you can see, are pretty formidable. Um, there's one of those face grabber dealy deals. The aliens are, are, are really formidable enemies. And this game is, is not necessarily one of your more easier experiences. But, um, yeah, this game is, is really... You know, I, I really feel like this game was kind of uh, overlooked... Uh, in fact, it was a it was a game it was a kind of a big time game reviewer that not long ago said they were playing this game and I was like, well, I gotta go pick it up. It's only I mean you could probably pick this game up for literally just a couple bucks. You know, um, it might be a little harder to track down now, but uh, yeah, it's definitely worth it. And um, you know, it's it's a it's it's not necessarily a, a super short experience, but it's not really that long either. But um, if you if you're in the mood for a kind of a classic 2D uh, side scroller uh, where you basically just you know shoot up a bunch of aliens, um, yeah, this this is definitely a game worth picking up. Uh, so yeah, until next time.